Hello and welcome back to On The Rocks. Hope you're all doing well today and looking forward to today's surprise episode. I did say yesterday there wasn't going to be an episode today, but I felt really bad because I messed up all the... I still don't quite not happen with the recordings. I've looked back for it since, even though like the, the episode went out yesterday, or will go out yesterday. I've been looking around, I still can't find it. I still don't know what's gone on with it, but I feel bad that... Um, I've messed things up and there wasn't going to be an episode today because I messed things up. So um, despite being very busy, um, I am doing an episode for you right now. So um, here you go. Here's an episode. Make sure you do drop a like on today's episode though and subscribe to the channel if you are new round here and uh, leave a comment down below saying, um, Tom, make sure you don't mess things up next time or something like that. We are only going to do the one game today though because today's episode does need to be fairly quick uh, for me to make sure I can get everything out for you in time and stuff like that. So we are going to play Hamilton in the Betfred Cup semi-final which is a pretty good game to do right because it gives us a chance of reaching another cup final. Before we get into that though, uh, obviously the one game we've played in between episodes, you last tier yesterday for the Fiorentina draw and the 3-2 win over St Mirren. We then beat Dundee United 3-2, again leaving it pretty late with Kevin Nisbet scoring the 81st minute to get the winner, but a good result for us nonetheless. The best news about that was, was that Celtic and Rangers played against each other and Celtic won 1-0. So we do go ahead of Rangers in the table by two points and we stay one point behind Celtic. But before we play the game against Hamilton, I do want to talk a bit about the Patreon, some youth prospects and contract negotiations coming up. So first things first, loads of you have joined the Patreon, which is massively appreciated. I want to say a big thank you to uh, Kevin, Stephen, Nick, Craig, Jordan, Alex, Joseph and Danny, all for signing up to the Patreon in the, last, in the past week or so. Massively appreciate that. Uh, it massively helps me and my channel out and of course kind of supports that dream for me to become a full-time content creator one day. So if you want to sign up to the Patreon yourselves to um, get access to all the save files or have your name in the game, which we'll talk about in a moment's time, there's a link down in the description to the Patreon to sign up there. Now talking about getting your name in the game, you can do that with every youth intake that we have. And I didn't actually show the last youth intake on camera. Um, I can't remember why I didn't do it. Um, I think I just kind of forgot about it essentially. But it was a fairly decent youth intake. I'll put a little mini screenshot on screen right now of the best few players there. So you can see two five stars and two four and a half star potential players. It was a pretty decent youth intake. So we'll start off with David Dow, a 16-year-old centre midfielder with five-star potential. A good ball winning midfielder and box-to-box -box midfielder. He's got already really good physicals. He's six foot three. He's a physical specimen. Technicals will get better. He's going to be a superb player in the future for us. So Asylum's done, thank you very much for your continued support on the Patreon. We're going to rename this player for you. Robert D. Dow is your new name, and we're looking forward to seeing you become D best player I'm trying to get a pun on D I can't do it the best player in the I, ignore me next up is Paul Hodge who's another striker coming through for us and again he's got really good technicals where they matter and the physicals are not too bad either uh, he keeps dropping between four and five star potentials I'm not entirely sure what's going on with him but he does have two star current ability which puts him kind of on the cusp of the first team already at 16 years old so expect to see him maybe towards the end of the season getting some game time but Danny thank you very much for your contributions on the Patreon as well we're going to call you Skywalker after you've named him that so welcome Sky looking forward to seeing you not sky the ball over the bar every game week and score plenty of goals instead we've got another striker this time in Fraser Waters who looks really solid too where the meta the technicals are superb the physicals are pretty decent the mentals are not quite as good as the previous guy but again 16 years old he's going to get better and things like that which is great to see so Fraser Waters great to have you in the club and once again Thad thank you very much for your continued contributions on the Patreon Sean McRae the brother of Thad McRae is now in the team I spelled his name wrong haven't I there we go spelt it right this time Sean McRae welcome to the team looking forward to seeing how you perform and then finally right winger Dane Stewart is looking very promising I must say I love the crossing and dribbling already at 10 and 11 at 16 years old pace is pretty good for 16 to 5 9 a decent build like he's going to be a great player in the future as well so Joseph thank you for your contributions on the Patreon we're now going to call you Joe Kultas if I can spell right, I can't type today clearly. Joe Kultas, welcome to the team. So there we go, there's the best youth intake players that came through last time, all renamed and ready to get going in the starting lineup soon. Now though, we need to talk about some expiring contracts at the end of the season. And there's only four of them expiring and two of them I'm more than happy to let go straight away. The first one being Joe Lewis, uh, he's going in the season definitely. We do not want him around anymore. 
and Tommy Hoban will also be leaving the club. He's just not going to get any game time. And I've tried to sell both of them. No one wants these two players at all. So they're going to see their contracts out and then save us £8,500 a week on wages, which is a lot of money for two old players we don't care about. Two players that we do care about, though, Shankland and Ferguson. I don't quite know what to do with them because I think we're getting to the point where we need to be looking at some really top quality players in, in strikers and midfielders. Lewis Ferguson this season is not really meant to be a starter for us. It's meant to be Campbell and Tam Lumper starting, but Ferguson's obviously played a lot of games because of Tam Lumper's injury. Shankland is good. He's got eight goals to his name this season, but I just he's 28. He's going to start declining at some point in the next four years or so. So maybe actually we do... I think we offer them both contracts, but I'm just a little nervy as to how big we offer them. I don't want to give them like contracts and the highest earners at the club and then we end up in a situation like Joe Lewis where quickly we get someone who's better than them and they're on a huge contract and we can't get rid of them. So I'm just nervy about the size of the contracts. I think I'm more inclined to keep Shanklin right now. I think we go to contract, offer new contract. He wants to be a star player. I don't want... I want him to be a regular starter. He's not going to agree to this, is he? No, he wants star... He's already got orange on us. Can we get important player down? He's agreed to important player. Okay, that's something. Finalise the promise, negotiate the deal. And he wants nine grand. He's already on four grand. He wants more than double. And this is where I start to find it just, ah, oh, I, I can't justify it, I don't think. If he was, you know, a 30 goal a season striker, I could justify it. But he's not. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down to like six to start off with. Six grand will boost your seasonal landmark bonus to. I tell you what, you can have fifty. You can have sixty-one thousand pounds if sixty thousand if you get twenty goals in a season. That should make up for any loss of wages there, and it incentivises him to score goals. Appearance fee is pretty high at one point eight k. Let's bring that down to like one point five. Goal bonus can go up a little bit to one point five. If you get top scorer in the division again, you can have a lot more money. We'll give you 60 grand if you get top goal scorer in the division because he deserves it if he gets that sort of you know goal return, right? But I do want to get rid of the unused substitute fee because I just I don't understand why you'd pay a player to sit on the bench. It makes no sense to me. So let's suggest that. He's come back straight away just loving the extra bonuses we've given him but wants the money back and the appearance fee back. That's not gonna, it's not how it works around here, Lawrence. It's not how it works. Six and 1.5. And he's just not budging on that 9k. He's not budging on 9k at all. 7k. He's gone right. I mean, fair enough, Lawrence. Thing is, though, we need to agree a deal before January, else other clubs can get him on a free. So we might have to give in to that nine grand a week at some point. Lewis Ferguson, on the other hand, again, he is a very good player. He is versatile. We play him a lot. Maybe he is worth the money as well. We're going to give him a lot from a contract, see what he wants. He's on two and a half grand right now, which makes it even more difficult if he then wants like nine grand a week, for example. So he wants to be an important player. Well, you can be a regular starter and we'll get rid of his big wage rise. Suggest he's happy with that. Finalize the promise, negotiate the contract. Only 3.9. Okay. Much more reasonable. Much more reasonable. He's not wanting more than double what he's on right now. So let's bring it down to like 3.5k per week. Um, after international appearances, five wants five grand a week. He's got four caps, so he's probably likely to get that right. If I can get back in his contract, offer a new contract. Um, can we get rid of that? Or bring it down to 4k, that seems fine. 4k is fine. Unused for the cheap fee, get rid. You can have your team of the year bonuses and stuff like that, all the bonuses for winning things. Appearance fee, bring it down a little bit, 650. Assist bonus up a little bit. Suggest, we, we, we'll get there, we'll get there. How about 3.5 and 4.5 then? 700, suggest. They just aren't budging. If we get rid of this, if we get rid of that, put on four grand a week, 750, suggest. Now he wants 4.6 grand a week, four. Four and seven seven five then. Four point four point two. He's just not budging on a four point six. Four point five? Four point five. Okay. Okay. I it's fine. 
at least Ferguson signed a contract. We will work on Shankland in between episodes. We'll get him signed a new contract at some point, just hopefully not on nine grand a week. This is the team though that hopefully is going to take us to the Betfred Cup final for a second year in a row. Bazunu in goal with Devine, Herrera, Suter and Torres in the back line. Campbell and Ferguson in the middle with Gordon, Knight, Hanratty and Nisbet leading the line. Shankland currently injured which is why he's not playing today as you can see out for another two weeks or so with some torn ligament or something. So as kickoff is upon us here today at Hampton Park looking forward to this one because we should be beating Hamilton and we should be getting ourselves to the final of the cup. The reason we're basically here getting to a final of a cup is because we have avoided Celtic and Rangers so far who play each other in the semi-finals again and hopefully whoever gets there out of those two we can beat in the final in a one-off game because we are at that point now where you know we do beat Celtic and Rangers because we are better than them on the day it's not like luck anymore we are better than them on the day and that's why we beat them we were better than Rangers earlier on this season Celtic were better than us when we lost to them off camera but still like we're at that stage where we're on par with them as Kevin Hanratty can't quite get his shot in the back of the net. Second time of asking though, Torres shoots and it's another good save from a Hamilton keeper. 30 minutes into this game and we've had 10 shots but not many highlights at all. As I say that, there's a highlight right now for us. Fingers crossed it actually goes to us as the cross was cleared but only as far as Campbell who just very nonchalantly gets the ball, doesn't really do much with it and Herrera's ball forward is good to Hanratty. Hanratty shoots, hits the post, Ben Knight on the rebound. 1-0, you love to see it. But Hamilton now with a free kick right on the edge of the area. Hopefully it's too close. Luckily it was too close to get on target. They put it wide of the mark. But it's very difficult to get the ball up and down in time when you're that close to the edge of the area. So I didn't think that was going to go in the back of the net. I would have been very impressed if it did go in the back of the net. But Hamilton still looking to try and grab a goal before half time to get themselves back in this one. They can't seem to do it as Hanratty is through. Hanratty shot once again saved. He's not quite got his shooting boots on today, has young Kevin. Okay, so half time, 1 0 up, which is very good for us. I think at the same time, Celtic are winning their game 1 0. Is that true? It is true. They're 1 0 up in their game against Rangers. So as it stands right now, it will be an Aberdeen Celtic final, which will be very exciting. But uh, we beat Rangers last. Who did we beat last time? We beat Rangers in the Scottish Cup. And then was it Celtic in the Betfred Cup last... I can't remember who we beat, if I'm honest with you. We beat one of them. I'm pretty sure it was Celtic in the Betfred Cup last time. And Anthony Gordon is gaking... Words are at a loss because that was such a superb goal or something like that. Anthony Gordon makes sure we are going through to the final by doubling our lead on the 57-minute mark. Great finish from him for his 13th of the season already. 13. Another chance for us as Gordon gets the ball into Reese Devine, but not quite getting the ball in the middle. Hamilton, with 20 minutes or so to go, are trying everything to get back in this game now. And if this cross is good, and it is a good cross, but, oh, okay, that was a very good goal. Um, we'll give him that one. So Hamilton trying to get back in this game at the end. Rangers have missed a penalty in their game. So us and Celtic both just about holding on. Please do not concede another goal right now. We've done enough to win this game. We've had 18 shots to Hamilton's five shots, and yet it's right in the balance, which is frustrating. Bazunu's clearance out from the back is superb. Nisbet's shot, almost even better, just saved by the keeper. No, it went over. There's no corner, is it? So just over the bar from him. But as the clock ticks down, four minutes of added time to go. Looks like we're booking ourselves into another Betfred Cup final. Can we win our third bit of silverware? in three seasons. So the game against Celtic is the, f so the final against Celtic is on the 9th of December. How does that fit into the schedule? We were meant to play against Krasnodar, weren't we? But I think what we'll do now instead actually, is maybe go through to play Celtic and Riga in those final games there uh, instead, just to make a bit more sense and so we're not just like doing really short bits in between episodes. So tomorrow we'll come back for Celtic and Riga. So thank you ever so much for watching today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and hopefully it makes up for messing things up a few days ago with an extra episode today which wasn't meant to come out but has come out. I will see you tomorrow for a cup final. Make sure you're suited up for that one. Looking forward to wearing a suit and uh, putting on a tie and uh, losing obviously and then looking like an idiot because I'm wearing a suit and a tie in a football manager video on YouTube. But until next time, hope you have a fantastic evening. I will see you all soon. Lots of love. Goodbye.